Okay, now we're gonna do some fielding drills you can do in your garage or anywhere else that you can find a spot to do it. Uh, you could even do this on the carpet of your house, uh, the first couple, maybe not all of them. But the uh, big one is you should be able to do this in your garage. Um, as you can see, Coach Meyer now is on both knees. He's gonna show the proper way to field the ball. We're gonna start out with a nice, easy roll. And all we're gonna do with that nice, easy roll, you're gonna see him gather that ball in, get it into his uh, stomach area, his waist area, and then his head should be down as he follows the ball in, okay? This is just a simple drill just to get the nice things going on. So you go, you just roll it, and he brings it in, okay? A lot of people, if you look online, will call it a triangle drill, and they'll wanna keep your arm way out. We don't do that because it freezes you into that spot, and they like to alligator, okay? We're not gonna alligator it, we're gonna gather it, as you saw Coach Meyer do, bring it in, and then the next step, he'll be on his feet, and we'll continue to get better at fielding and get more confidence at it. So our first few would be just rolling it nice and easy, and he's gonna bring it up. Every time, bring it up and put and freeze into his head would go down because he's following it in. And you notice I'm not rolling it very hard. So the first five, six, seven, eight, nine, even 10, all you're doing is getting the motion down. Remember, we want our palms out, our fingers down, okay? So that way, if it does take a bet, it'll hit the flush of our hands. And there we go. So that would be the first step. I would do 10, 15, depending on, get the feel back, but you might want to kneel on a towel or whatever else you got to kneel on. Now we're going to go, he's going to actually be in his fielding position, okay? And in that fielding position, we're still going to roll it fairly slow just to let him get. He's going to grab the ball and he's going to get into his throwing position and freeze. Why? Because if you're in a garage, you're not going to take and whip it at somebody. <laughs> um, so all we're going to do here, we're going to grab it. You can see he steps, he's in his good throwing position so he can throw to the base. So we're gonna do that a few times. And we're just gonna, okay? So we're gonna sit and roll the ball nice and easy. This isn't, um, this isn't made to see how many you can go through, it's how many you can do well. And so he's gonna get, and he's gonna freeze in his throwing position, and then he's ready. Okay, so nice and easy. Gets in his throwing position, and then he's ready. Then after you get that, even from this distance, as you notice, we're not really far apart. We're probably about 15 feet apart. Okay, now I'm just gonna bounce the ball to him and he's gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna whip it at him, but I'm gonna bounce the ball to him. So he's got two hops and then he can do the field. Get his feet moving a little bit. You notice we're not going super side to side. All we're gonna do is get that ball, field that ball, and get into that position, okay? Now, it doesn't matter who you are. Every, if you're an outfielder, an infielder, a catcher, a pitcher, this is a drill you can do. This will help you all the way through. So it doesn't matter. So we do this a bunch of times, and then as we get, uh, more and more confidence. Now we're gonna go short hops. We're only gonna let him have one, okay? And we're gonna get him, now we're going a little bit quicker as far as throwing it a little faster, okay? So if they do miss it, does happen. Then you slow down a little bit and you work your way back up, okay? We don't just sit there and, hey, hey how many times can I throw it by them? That's not our goal here. Our goal is to see how many times we can get it so they can do it correctly and without that much effort. You can see each time he's getting into that nice, good throwing position. And so we're ready to throw that ball the first, second, third, however it is. Okay, last one we're gonna do is we're gonna do the backhand. So as he gets set for the backhand, as he's gonna go to that backhand, he's gonna just kind of, I'm not gonna throw it, as he goes to the backhand, He's gonna absorb that ball. See, he's still out in front, okay? As he steps, he's still out in front. As you can see that, so if it comes here and then it goes into his glove, he's gonna absorb it, okay? He's not fielding it way back here. He 
He's still feeling it out front and he's trying to get that. So this is another drill. We're not going to throw it 100 miles an hour. We don't want to wreck your garage. Or start this one. Yeah. So he's going to start like that. We're just going to go nice and easy and get it. Okay, so the first few, all he's going to do is there. And then, now he's going to catch it, step, and get into his throwing position. Okay, you notice the one thing, now we all make mistakes. He dropped the ball with his glove, but he picked it up with his hand. So that's good. He didn't try and stab back at it with the glove. He got it in his hand so he could get it to the next position as fast as possible. Quicker as hands. you can see with the flat hand, it still kept up in front of him. So, and it, with the seams and the nice flat ground, it doesn't roll quite as smooth as everybody thinks. So it's nice and easy. We're not going to sit there and throw this one at him. We just want to get him to get, get into it, get those uh, nice soft hands and go on. So it's soft hands for everybody because we haven't been able to be out either. So it's really hard. We're going to make mistakes as we do these videos. Okay, so that's the backhand. So those are the things we can do for fielding. Um, it's really tough to do fly balls unless you got a nice high ceiling and someone just throws them and you can catch the fly ball. But probably not in garages, anywhere near us. So big part is now we've got some fielding, we've got some pitching we can do, and next we'll get into some hitting.